guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews. And today I thought that we would talk about fall essentials. It's kind of a fall favorites, fall essentials, things that, you know, I mean, I think we're all excited about the change in weather, pumpkin spice lattes, etc. <laughs> so I thought that I would talk to you guys about my personal fall favorites and things that I feel are must haves as the weather starts to change. First of all, I would like to mention that this video is brought to you by Upbra my new favorite bra. So I've talked about up bra before. I have a whole video dedicated to up bra. I am obsessed with these bras. I think they are freaking phenomenal. I have never had anything ever give me such fantastic lift and support and still be comfortable and even in a strapless, these things work. I have an up bra bathing suit that I wore all summer and I'm telling you, the thing was magnificent. In fact, at one point I was on vacation and I put on another bathing suit and I was like, oh dear, that's just sad. <laughs> Because seriously, I have mom boobs, you guys, so they're like flappy little pancakes blowing in the wind. So with my up bra, it gives me great lift. So like right now, I'm wearing a regular t-shirt style bra, but I also have a strapless. I have one in nude and one in black. And then I also have a convertible bra. The interesting thing about the convertible one, because the strapless ones do have the little hooks on them, and I'll link my video down below so you can see how it works and everything. I don't want to get too much into it. The convertible has, has straps, and it doesn't have too many options. You have the one option in the front and then two options in the back. It also came with an extender back here, which I thought was pretty great. But the interesting thing about this one is that it doesn't have the sticky stuff on the inside. So the strapless ones have the sticky to help it stay up throughout the day. This one doesn't have that if for whatever reason you don't like that. It is a little less comfortable, I will admit. Um, so this one is nice and soft and you can use it for things like I have a ton of sweatshirts now that are like, you know, one-sided or have cutouts and stuff like that, that like, you know, I need to adjust my strap so that it's not just, hi straps, how are you today, kind of a thing. But I don't necessarily want to go all out with a strapless while I'm wearing a sweatshirt, you know what I mean? So having options is really nice. And I just think that these bras are amazing. They're great all year round, but I wanted to mention them in this video as well because I, d because like I mentioned, I have a bunch of sweatshirts and stuff with cutouts and this time of year it's still pretty hot. I live in Southern California so it's nice and toasty warm here. So I'm still wearing a lot of you know like spaghetti straps and strapless tops and stuff and I might pair it with a jean jacket or something but it's nice to have a bra that you can wear either strapless or you know just deal with your straps. But you know like today I have a t-shirt on but it's pretty low cut and so you know I've got some got some great cleavage going on if I do say so myself. You probably can't see from where you're sitting. <laughs> Hey, internet world, you want to see my boobs? That's what this feels like right now, and we're not going there. So let's move on to something else. How about my feet? You guys, okay, I know I've been talking about this on social media and, and I was just, and I just had a conversation with my sister about how like I'm obsessed with shopping for boots right now. She was telling me that she's been buying all of these sweaters online and it's not even cold enough to wear sweaters yet. But I had to get these boots from Sorel. I saw them on Instagram. I, this company had never, you know, been in my radar before. And then I saw these. <gasps> And I love them so much. I feel like this is one of those things, like my husband saw these and he's like, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> like whatever, you don't know anything about fashion anyway. And I always like things that are just a little bit askew. First of all, they have tons of different styles of boots and shoes and whatnot, but I love this like hidden wedge heel thing. I just think it's really cute in these like, chunky beefy bottoms that are all rubber and wonderful and these totally look like hiking boots with the red laces I'm, I, I look like a lumberjack while I'm wearing these which in my opinion is not a bad thing so I love these they do have them in all black they have more you know less hiking boot looking ones as well I placed an order on Zappos for like five different pairs of boots with the intention of sending most of them back okay and this is the other pair of Sorel's that I'm on the fence about because they're rain boots but aren't these fabulous I just love them so much I think they're so fantastic and wonderful and I just and they're comfortable that's one of the best things about them is they are really really comfortable you get a little extra height and they're just kind of fun and funky but still like practical you could 
totally wear these around town. They're that comfortable. Anyway, <laughs> that's been my boot obsession lately. I will leave a link to their website. You can get them at like, you know, well, Zappos is where I got mine or Nordstrom or, you know, wherever. You can get them all over the place. They're a normal brand. Another accessory type item. I have had this for years and it is my favorite purse ever. <laughs> I love this thing. It's kind of falling apart right now, but I checked and you can still get it on Amazon. It's, I think, like $43. When I got mine, it was 35 and it's held together pretty well over the past four or five years since I've had it and carried around all the freaking time. This thing has been through a lot and these are definitely starting to get screwed up, but the rest of the bag is still in great shape and I just love the size and the shape. It's got this nice big open thing, but it also has some zippers and pockets in here and I just love this bag. This is from a company called MG Collections and they have a ton of fabulous stuff. I have three other bags from them <laughs> that I really love and the quality is great. The price is inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon or they have their own website. So I will link that down below, but honestly that's my favorite purse. They have a couple other skull type ones that I've been looking at thinking, hmm, Hmm, maybe I'll get another one. This is a good transition item. This is a spray on tan from Grace and Stella. I've talked about Grace and Stella products before. They have a lot of really amazing spa type items, you know, bath bombs and moisturizers and, you know, all sorts of fabulous things. So they sent me this one. This is Bronze Doll Express Golden Bronzer and it is a spray on tan and it comes with a little mitt. So you can apply it. Now, when it comes out, it is dark and and the spray is fairly wide, so to not make a mess, your best bet is probably to spray it directly onto the mitt. But for whatever reason, I don't like doing that. So <laughs> I stand in my empty bathtub so that I don't get the spray tan all over my bathroom floor or whatever, and I just spray it directly onto my legs and then smooth it out with the mitt. This one comes out dark, which is nice because then you can see where it's going so you are less likely to get streaks. Plus it gives you a little, you know, boosted bronzy glow right away and then after I don't know eight hours or something it does develop into a tan my first impression was whoa baby that smells delicious like cake batter or coconut cupcakes or something fantastically delicious and it's very strong so you spray that on and then the next day I smelled like fake tanner you know that smell it's it's a very distinct fake tanner smell. My mom loves it, my husband hates it. But it only lasted for one day because sometimes I'll use one and it'll last like a full week. As long as I have the tan, I smell like tanner. This, it went away after a day, so that was nice. And it comes out in a really nice color. It's nice and golden, but not orange. And in fact, I went to my mom's the other day and she was like, why are you so tan? And I was like, oh, spray tanner. She's like, oh, it's not orange at all. I'm like, yay, it's so great, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sped up version of our conversation. Anyway, I have really been liking this. I have beautifully tan legs right now. Let's see, can you see my legs? I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> anyway, my legs are nice and tan. I've used it a little bit on my arms. Not too much though, because my arms tend to get tan on their own anyway, just because, you know, I'm outside a lot. So anyway, I've been using this, loving this. It's nice to have something to extend your tan while you're still showing some skin, but not necessarily going to the beach every day. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, loving that. Okay, while I know that pumpkin spice lattes are the thing that everybody gravitates toward, or at least, you know, I don't know, that, that's just the thing, you know. But I stopped putting sugar in my coffee, so now when I try to drink a sweet drink at Starbucks, it's like, whoa! Last night I got one and I just got one pump of the syrup and it was still, it was like, I can't drink this anymore because I'm not used to having sugar in my coffee. But one thing I do still love is flavored coffee. And this is actually one of my all-time favorites. What I often do is I'll go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something and they go to their coffee aisle and they always have fun flavored coffee. Coffees. This one I actually get at Target, and this is the Archer Farms brand. Um, Dunkin' Donuts is another one of my favorites for having flavored coffees, but hot buttered rum, oh my god, you guys, it smells amazing. It tastes, it just, it's like it smells sweet even though it's not sweet, so for me, since I don't put sugar in my coffee, it's perfect. It's like a little dessert in a warm, delicious cup of java, and I freaking love it. It is a limited time only thing, so this time of year, whoo, did you see that hair flip? 
This time of year you can absolutely get it and I tend to stock up on this. They have other flavors that I love as well, but hot, hot buttered rum, you guys have to try this. It's so good. And now for a couple of makeup items. So first thing that I always switch up is my lipstick. So what I'm wearing right now is from Bite Beauty. It's one of their multi sticks and this is in the shade Brioche. I love these things. You can use them as blush, you can use them on your lips. They're comfortable and I just love them and I think this color is gorgeous. So I collected some of my favorites. Ugh, you guys, it was so hard. I have so many lip products, it's ridiculous. But I just kind of wanted to quickly show you some of my favorites for this time of year. So Honest Beauty has two different ones. They have like their semi-matte lip crayons and then they have, um, and then they have the sheer ones. The sheer ones feel like a tinted lip balm. And Chestnut Kiss is a gorgeous color, especially this time of year because it has a nice warm earthy tone to it. It's a little bit like a, like a spice color almost. And the formula on them is so nice. It just kind of, you know, makes your lips look plump and beautiful. Um, another, this one is a lip gloss from Allegory Story. This is Plato's Cave and it's more of a brown. I love browns this time of year and I just love this lip gloss. I think it's so nice. Another brown that I love is from Jouer. This is one of their lip creams and I love the formula on these. This one is in Noisette, which again with the brown, but it's the kind of shade that doesn't make you look dead and colorless and it's comfortable and I love long wearing liquid lipsticks like that. Another couple of liquid lipsticks. This one is from Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Los Angeles, like jealous. Like, I'm so jealous of your pretty hair. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful muted red. I don't necessarily like to go straight for the cherry red lips or cranberry quite yet. That, I feel, is more going into Thanksgiving, Christmas time of year. Around now, I want to wear more earthy, leaf-colored type shades. And then this one from Hank and Henry, I just got this, and they're actually launching these in October, I believe. These are liquid lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Petal Pusher. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It's freaking gorgeous, and the formula is amazing. They they feel creamy, they're super pigmented, so you can just do one thin swipe and you have full color. It doesn't dry out your lips, but it is still transfer resistant. I am in love with these. I cannot wait to get more. And Petal Pusher is a great kind of pinky mauve color. So, okay, I tried not to spend too much time on the lipsticks because I could talk all day about lipstick. And then I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. So this one is from Urban Decay. This is the Born to Run palette. These are the colors and I feel like these are so fall appropriate. You've got a lot of warm tones, but you also have these greens and gold shades. I have some of the like orangey and the dark green and the brown. So I feel like these are perfect for fall, but you could wear these colors all year round. And I just, I love the little pops of color here and there. This palette is supposed to be great for travel. You can see all of the travel-y pictures on there and it's very sturdy, very heavy feeling palette and it's got, I don't know, it just feels like, yeah, you could pack this and not have to worry about it. It's got a nice big, oh, I just shoved my finger in that. It's got a nice big mirror. You have some lighter shades, some darker shades, shades that work well as liner as well as shadows. So it's a fantastic palette. It's also like $50 or something, so I thought that I would also include one of my $10 dupe type palettes. This one is Inferno from Bad Habit. It's so full of all of these beautiful warm tones, some nice shimmery shades in there, a couple of mattes that are great for like transitions and stuff. You could also pair this with another palette if you wanted to because these are all very much in the same color range, but I thought that I would include this one because it just screams fall to me as well as just mentioning that like Bad Habit and I know I shared a palette from Prism Makeup, those dupe type palettes that are only like $10 and you can get them off of hush.com or I think it's like shophush.com or Prism Makeup they actually sell on Amazon as well as Juno & Co. So it's nice to know. I know some people get irritated about the dupe type palettes but seriously I can't afford to buy a bunch of $50 palettes so it's nice that I can still get colors for $10 and the quality is really great and occasionally I will splurge on something but it's nice to have the option if you don't have the budget for all of these. So anyway, I feel like there's a ton of other stuff that I'm missing because I love this time of year. I feel like I am definitely not alone in that. I love switching it up and wearing little jackets and sweaters and boots and warm scents, you know, candles. And I even switch up my hand soap. In fact, let me show you, <laughs> hang on. 
I got this from Trader Joe's. It's the apple cider foaming hand soap. I really like foaming hand soaps in general, and this one smells really, really good. It smells like apple cider, but it also has like a warm muskiness to it almost. It smells amazing, so I would definitely recommend this one. And of course, I have a ton of candles around my house. I, again, with like the Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Tuesday morning, those kind of places, I always go in and check out their candles, their hand soaps, their coffee selection. I love this time of year. So let me know what your favorites are, what your fall essentials are, things that you love about this time of year. Also, I was thinking about possibly doing more of a fashion-oriented video of like, this, you know, just talking about the things that I like to wear, how I like to transition my summer dresses, you know, and pair them with a jean jacket and a pair of boots or something to make them more fall appropriate, that sort of a thing. So if you would like to see something like that, definitely let me know. I'm still on the fence about doing that, but I'm definitely going to try to post more fashion pictures on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do that as well. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.